Well, Mary and Chris, within the last hour, we've seen a number of firefighters showing up here at the firehouse uh, where you mentioned firefighter Michael Davidson spent all 15 years of his career. Obviously, a very somber and difficult day for the FDNY family. Davidson was 37 years old, a husband, a father of four, and he came from a family of firefighters. His dad retired from the same firehouse, and his brother is a member of the FDNY in the Bronx. Fire officials say basement fires like the one he was fighting last night are among the most dangerous for fire crews. He was one of the first to head in to the basement of that apartment building uh, last night. The flames were so intense it forced the crews to get out. Fire Commissioner Daniel Nigro spoke earlier this morning at Harlem Hospital where Davidson died. Despite the best efforts of the members, members of uh, our firefighting forces, EMS, and here at the hospital, they were unable to revive Michael, and he perished. Our entire department, our entire city, mourns this horrific loss of a very brave firefighter. Our hearts and our prayers go out to the family, and may God rest his soul. Davidson had been cited four times during his career for his bravery. He is the 1,150th firefighter to die in the line of duty in the FDNY's history. We're live this morning in Harlem. Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News.